Hey everyone, Brittany and Chris Carmichael here bringing you the Elevated Life series where we teach you simple mindset shifts to create radical transformation in your life. And today's topic was requested by one of our elevators over in the Elevated Life Membership Club. And we're going to be covering bring three simple ways to avoid burnout. So if you know anyone who's struggling in their business and you know you know they love what they're doing but they just seem to be overworked, then tag them in the comments below. We're so excited that you're here. If you're watching us live, say hello in the comments and where are you watching from? Yeah, you know, burnout is such an important topic because really once you get to that level where you say, "Hey, I'm totally burned out." What you're really saying is you're Is all it burned out or burnt out? I don't even know. Burnt out. You guys Is tell it us. burned out or burnt out with the T? Burnt Let out. us know in the comments. <laughs> yeah, but like once once you get to that spot, what it really looks like is depression. You know, it looks like your view turns pessimistic on the world and on your abilities. You kind of get that sense that no matter how hard you do something, it's not going to work out. And so you start, you know, tipping down that, that, that scale where you're just not feeling as good anymore, you know, when, when you originally started whatever you're doing, uh, you know, how you originally started out. And so we're going to give you some ways to start to avoid that. Yeah. So the first tip, let's just dive right in. Actually, uh, yeah, the first tip is getting away and unplugging. Uh, let me just say hello. Hola, beautiful souls joining you from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Hi, Sophia. Thanks for joining us. Um, so the first tip in avoiding burnout and you know, like Chris said, you want to make sure like this typically happens when you are in a business that you love, right? And you're just overworking and you're lacking, you know, you're like lacking in other areas. All your focus is on your business, right? So this is the burnout we're talking about business burnout. So the first thing is to get away and unplug, get away from the phone, unplug, go to nature. Oh my gosh, go back to nature. Get a breath of fresh air and really just step away from the digital world and come back to reality. Yeah, the, 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 the real big deal here is, is that you have to take some sort of mental vacation or physical vacation or whatever it is for you. You've got to get to a place where you're not so in the trenches and you can pull back and get that perspective again. And a lot of times, once you come back into whatever you're doing, obviously the business is still going to be there. So if you're running away from something like, um, you know, your marketing's not working, or you're running away from people being not appreciating you, or you don't like your business in the first place, that's a whole different topic. Like that's a whole different thing. We're talking about something that you absolutely love. Yeah. So when you've been working and pushing the gas pedal down for a long time, you say, oh my gosh, I'm so tired, get away. Get away somewhere and let yourself kind of settle, let your mind settle, let all of that just cloudy, muddy thought stuff start to settle back down. Yeah, once your thoughts are like, go, like once you get inspired with the creative idea, and this, you know, this happens even when it's like on in, in a positive meaning, like you get inspired with all these great ideas and your mind is racing a million miles an hour and you're like, I gotta do this and this and this and blah, 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 right? So that's when Chris is talking about get away. Like when you have all of that going on, when your mind is overloaded, you have to just unplug and walk away. Know that your ideas will still be there. Actually, the best ones will, will hold firm and all the extra noise will fall away. So a trust that if you go to nature, if you unplug, if you walk away, you'll actually come back more inspired and more in energetic. You'll be more elevated to be able to create and produce what it is you really love. Yeah, and so and that's super important. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Caitlin. Uh, she's watching from sunny San Diego. I love it. I Woo. love it. All right, our next tip is to find meaning in what you do. And sometimes, again, when you're in those trenches, when you're doing the day-to-day -day tasks, it's really easy kind of to forget why you're there in the first place. Um, I remember this used to happen sometimes with Britt in the salon when she worked really long hours and just take on a lot of clients at once. And so what she would end up doing is rereading the reviews that people left her. Oh yeah, that was good. And, and so it put things back into perspective because she'd start reading those reviews and the tears would come out because what people leave in reviews a lot of times is like the, you know, they pull on those heartstrings. They remind you that business is not just something that we do for money. That's great and everything, but it's really driving that passion and, and realizing how you connect to the community and how you uh, give value to people. You know, that's really why business exists. And so when you re-tap back into that, Brit would have so much revitalization and be like, oh my gosh, I make such a difference in these people's lives. And it puts, back in, pers <laughs> yeah, it puts back in perspective <laughs> about like, why you're even doing this, why are you even here, why are you doing this, how are you adding value? Yeah, it goes 
just along with what Chris says, why? Why are you doing what you're doing? That will automatically put you in the mindset of like, oh, this is why I was so inspired. This is why I was so excited to create this business or offer this talent to the world. So always go back to your why whenever you're feeling burnt out and you'll spark a new way of look, you know, you'll look at your business in a new way and from that perspective, you start to see more creative opportunities. Because let's face it, if you're in business for yourself, you know, honestly, you're creating you're creating every single thing about it. So if there's something about your business that you that you're not in love with anymore, if you keep avoiding parts of your business that you've created, then just get clear, take responsibility, look at your truth cold in the face and say, "You know what? I am overbooked. I'm tired of working on Saturdays. Forget about it." So I'm tired of working on Saturdays. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So get clear and then be the boss. Make the decision. Decide what you don't want to do in your business anymore and then stop doing it. So once you find meaning, once you go back to the original reason why you created it, you'll start to see that maybe there's parts of your business that you started creating for other people by other people's opinions or, you know, other people's expectations. So drop that. <laughs> you are in business for you. You create what it is you want to share with the world and that will attract the right people. Yeah. And stop doing all of the tasks that you don't like in, in every business. There's going to be portions that you don't like and with, in our business and stuff. If we didn't like video editing, you know, that's something that you need to be delegating because that's a low value task for you. And when you show up half assed, you produce half assed work and then you go home and you complain about how bad the business is or how tough it was and stuff like that. And you just need to be delegating all of those things off that you don't love doing or that you don't understand how to do or it's wasting all of your time and get to a spot where you're just doing the stuff that you love so that you can give high value. Yeah. So how many of you leave in the comments below? are in business for yourself. How many of you are entrepreneurs and you're sharing your gift with the world? Uh, my mom is here. Hey mom. <laughs> um, so I just want to share a quick story before we share the third tip on how to avoid burnout. And that is if you aren't in love with it, just like we were talking about, if you are in business for yourself and you're not in love with certain parts of it, you can change it. But here's another <laughs> example on why I became an entrepreneur. I, my shortest job when I was like 17 years old was six hours and it was at a prom dress and bridal boutique store called whatchamacallit and my shortest job six hours because you know at the end of that six hour shift no one told me where to put things they just said go do this go do that no one guided me no one taught me no one cared about me I was just another peg in their wheel to help clean up their mess. And I realized that really quickly. I felt undervalued and I didn't feel appreciated. I felt bossed around and that's just not what I'm looking for in partnering with a business. So six hours, I was out, send me my check, peace. You know, so are you in a job or a relationship that you're not valued, appreciated, loved, supported? Because if the answer is yes, like get GTFO. Yeah. You know, and, and this is that's a that's a you know a different conversation. You know, this is like how to avoid burnout when you love something, and this is talking about like if you're trying to avoid burnout on one of those situations where you are undervalued, where you are underappreciated, you don't need to avoid burnout. You need to pack all your stuff up and leave. Like that's that's a real big thing to do, or figure out how do I leave as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. You know, if you can't do it right this minute, how do I implement a plan so I can get out of this space? Because you've got to be in a positive environment. You don't live long enough to stay in a negative environment. Life's way too short. So if you're in a space where people aren't supporting you, where your gifts aren't nurtured, where you're not constantly told like, hey, you're doing a good job and getting that fulfillment that you need, cut bait. I mean, just, <laughs> it, yeah, just, just say, hey, look, we need to rearrange this or figure something different out or I need to just leave and, and be okay with saying that. It's okay to tell people even if it makes them mad. You can't like just help other people at the expense of yourself for forever. You know, you will really burn out and it, and it happens in such a terrible way because what ends up happening is the stress builds up and then you get really negative about life and you forget that life's such a beautiful thing and that you have a wonderful purpose here. You get on this like, well, I just, you know, just nothing goes right in my life. And it's because you're not speaking up and making decisions that know that, you know, will fulfill you. Mm, preach. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. He's on fire. Sophia says, I'm an entrepreneur. Lisa says, I am. Linda says, I own my own nail business. That's amazing. So you can express your creativity and beauty in um, making people's nails beautiful. I love that. It's so close to my home because I make people's hair beautiful. We had to learn that in school. So the third tip on how to avoid burnout in a business that you do love is to prioritize self-care. 
You guys know that we talk about this all the time. We see too many healers. We work one-on-one -on -one with way too many healers and nurturers and light workers that are sharing their creative gifts with the world and they're they're oversharing, 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 and they're never allowing themselves to stop, fill their own cup, and then go back out and give their gifts to the world. And that is the biggest problem that we see in um, all here on yeah. this damn planet, <laughs> you know? We want to be of service to everyone, but we've been programmed culturally to believe that if we nurture ourselves first, then we're selfish or, you know, there's not enough. And that, mom says, or you stroke out. Case in point, you guys know I share my mom's story to empower you to put yourself first because she put everyone else before her. And yes, it was beautiful. And yes, it was selfless, but it also caused her to stroke out. So now we know that there's a beautiful balance that you can nurture yourself. And then from that abundance of nurturing, you can then give unconditionally and freely to others. Yeah, and it's a, it's a really big deal because... <laughs> You want to be I had doing. A mic, I would <laughs> you want to be doing the self care in all the categories. So your physical body. Are you eating the foods you know are going to nourish you? Are you sleeping enough? Are you getting enough exercise? Are you moving your body around, expressing energy? You know, stretching this body that we have. And then, are you emotionally doing it right? Are you, are you telling the world about how much you love it? Are you complimenting people? Do you find yourself doing that? Um, are you? Are most of your thoughts positive? That's the emotional, the emotional, mental side. And then the spiritual side. You know, are you tapping into that? spiritual nature too. You have to do all of these and you have to do all of them on a constant basis. Otherwise, part of you will always feel a little bit unfulfilled. And so again, you won't bring your greatest gifts. So when you do those and when you have all the categories where you're giving some attention to that daily, it may be prayer, it may, whatever it is for you, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Whatever that thing is for you, that's the thing. And so you need to be doing that so that you can give. And then you won't feel the burnout as much because you have so much energy and you're like, I already took care of myself. I'm good. And if you're one of those people right now saying, I don't know what I need for self-care, stop lying to yourself, be honest, cut the BS and go, what does my soul really need right now to feel nurtured, loved and supported? Get quiet with yourself and get honest and see what answer, feeling, thought or whatever comes up for you and that's your answer. So if you're fooling yourself, it's just because you're not taking time to look within because maybe you're hiding from that truth because maybe it's painful because maybe you know that it's been way too long since you've given love to yourself. So stop the game right now Get clear with yourself. Ask yourself, what do I really need right now? I've asked someone that. Hey, what do you need? And she said, in 50-something years, no one's ever asked me that. So be the person to ask yourself that. What do you really need right now? And then go give it to yourself. Boom. Mm. <laughs> Boy. I know, right? <laughs> so let's recap. Three ways to avoid burnout is one, get away and unplug. And the second way is to find meaning and to reconnect with that meaning in what you do. And the third way is to prioritize self-care because you matter. And it's called self-care for a reason. Yeah, don't go look for anyone else filling it up because no one's, no one's going to do that for you. No one can do your self-care. It's just you. <laughs> It's your responsibility. You're on the hook for this one. But the great part is, is that once you do this one, everything else is way, way, way easier. Yeah. So if you know someone that would love this message, go ahead and tag them in the comments below or share this on your wall. We really appreciate your support and you sharing our video means the world to us and it helps us spread our message. So if you want to empower and inspire someone today, tag them in the comments because we know that you're here to share your creative gifts with the world. And if you're not doing it, if it's fear that's holding you back, well then hell, get in our membership club because <laughs> next month we're talking all about how to break through fear. Um, or if you're just burnt out, you are doing what you love, but you just are kind of stuck in a rut and you just need a fresh perspective, then you know, use this, use these principles that we share with you every Friday here on the Elevated Life because all it takes is a simple mindset shift to create this radical transformation in your life. You can shift from fear to love in an instant. All you have to do is decide. You're on fire today. I know. I Everybody back up. <laughs> Everybody watch out. Happy Friday. I'm coming. <laughs> it must be this fancy gala we're going to tonight. Could be. I'm pretty pumped about that. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us here on The Elevated Life every Friday where we teach you these simple mindset shifts to create radical transformation in your life. We love you. Go take care of yourself this weekend. Do what you need to do for you, and you'll be surprised at how much everyone else around you benefits. Oof. Ah! Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye.